what is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your 40th AngularJS tutorial in which we'll be looking at link property of the directive definition object now in the last tutorial I discussed some of the common properties but there's a special property and it's kinda interesting and fun to write with and that is the link property now the link property basically works with the DOM of your page so it controls how your view is you know modified so let's get started with a simple example so we already have this my first script and then let's just jump to the script and inside the return what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add another property known as link and I'm just gonna supply it as a function uh, let's just name it link function now this link function let's just create this link function and we would we create this we'll create this right here so link function okay and what this accepts is it accepts three arguments the first one is scope the second one is element and the scope is the scope similar which we make use of here the element is the element it returns the reference to that element on which this directive is applied so for example if I have like div my first directive and div then this element contains the reference to this div right here then the third one is the ATTRS or the attributes now this contains all the information about the attributes the additional attributes like the class or ID or whatever here it is so inside here what I'm gonna do is simply I'm just gonna say element which is the element right here dot bind click and we can make use of this thing right here because angular by default makes use of a library called jqlite and as you can see this is from jqlite only the bind one and if you are using jquery then also there's no problem because you know jqlite is just a you can say a subset of jquery so on click what I want to do is obviously this is the traditional JavaScript I just want to say element or just alert element dot inner HTML let's try this out okay and let's just add something here oh no okay we already have the template so this is not required so let's just reload this and we have added kind of a click event right here okay let's try this out and as you can see it returns undefined right now or just console log that first to see what properties are available so we get the div and inside the zero okay so it kinda returns an array oh yeah so surely it would return an array so if I do like element 0 then how does it look like so it now kinda works and if I add I wonder if I add another element right here and remove this then let's just see what happens okay so right now they are sharing the same scope which we'll be looking at how to make them isolated but that's not the concern for this tutorial so let's just ca get back to the work and right here we can just do something like that okay so that kinda works okay so now let's just try to do something interesting with this link function and to do that let's just say I want to modify the text inside this 
whenever this is clicked so right now we are just console logging this but what if I want to modify the text and to do that let's just make use of some code let's just get rid of all of this code right here okay and let's just create this code a bit of code from the scratch so I'm just gonna say function link function and scope element and either of that will work either you can type dollar or without dollar so that will work because eventually what is happening is this these three arguments are being populated by the compile function of AngularJS but we don't need to worry about that and right here what I'm gonna say is scope dot name is hello world and I'm just gonna say scope dot change name is a function name and scope dot name is name or let's just say new name alright so now let's just create a directive definition object so return restrict rest rict ea or whatever and the next thing you would like to have is the link property obviously link and this is link function and the next thing is the template for now let's just say this is hello world or just let's just say this is current text is name okay so what is happening here is that we are first of all creating a scope dot name property in here with the link function and we are, have created a change name here as well and the next thing I can do is I can just bind this ng click change name and span tag okay now let's just try it out on the browser and see what happens so let's just reload scope is not defined oh okay so you see current text is hello world and when I click on this the current text okay so current text is let's just say hey there and so as you can see it changes to hey there so far so good but what happens when you have the multiple controllers or the multiple elements with the same directive now what happens is when I click one it changes everybody so what what is happening here is that all of these directives are sharing the same scope now this is something I would like to cover in a separate tutorial so I'm just gonna end my tutorial right here and we'll be doing that in the next one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching